Oh, what's happening, everybody? Mike Barata, ThoughtFusionBlog.com. Thanks for, uh, whoa, not experiencing the same earthquake I am. Um, thanks for checking me out. I know it's been a while. Things have been awesomely busy and fun and happy and exciting and just, uh, it's a whirlwind. Um, if you all are following the row movement, results only work environment, which um, I am pleased to be a part of, um, it's just amazing. Um, Callie and Jody got to present at South by Southwest just this past March. Uh, they were featured in a three-part series uh, on NPR. Uh, and now it's been announced that uh, the OPM, the Office of Personnel Management, which is essentially the HR of the federal government, um, is going to be piloting Row, the results only work environment, for uh, 400 employees. Um, but we all know where that's going to lead. I'm sure it's going to be all employees um, once we get this pilot done. So it's, it's just incredible. I mean, it's just, it's, it is absolutely incredible. So I apologize for uh, not being here more often. I've had so much to say, so much going on. The one thing I wanted to kind of touch base with really quick today, because I've had this conversation and um, in the past and I, I, I'm still having it, there needs to be an understanding. There is a difference between managing people and managing performance. Okay, the best way for me to explain it is when you think about a traditional work environment now, typically you have a policy or many policies that are kind of blanketed over the organization. So you'll have one policy that is supposed to basically govern or dictate how things ought to be um, for an entire workforce. And that workforce can be very diverse, can be very dynamic. Um, so that that kind of approach where you take one policy for multiple people within an organization, that's managing people, okay? Managing performance is what you get out of a results-only work environment, whereas the organization gets crystal clear with what its expectations are, with what its goals are, with what its objectives are, um, basically what how it wants to be successful. Okay, gets crystal clear with um, how that it, what they expect of their workforce. Okay, but the difference now is how they go about achieving that is they empower the individual, and there's you know there's kind of a buzzword in power, but really what that means today is they allow the individual. To go about achieving those objectives, those goals, that success that best suits that individual. Okay, so essentially what an organization is actually doing in a results-only work environment, it's giving that individual freedom and the control to set up a work-life scenario, however that may look, so they can, one, be successful, but two, and this is not prioritizing, although it seems that way, so I apologize. And I know people will hop on that, so I'll just rephrase. Uh, what that allows an individual to, to do is it raises their level of control over the many demands in their life. And those many demands are family, are hobbies, are interests, are work. So that's the difference uh, between managing people and managing performance. When you're talking about... Um, coming up with just one way for multiple people to go about um, their lives. Now you're talking about simply managing people. So that, what does that look like? Uh, that looks like you have to be in an office between nine and five. That's managing people, okay? Because if you were really going to manage performance, you'd have to ask the question, can an individual or many individuals be successful, okay, outside of that core hour? So those core hours. So if you have individuals that can actually um, produce, perform at a high level, but not have to kind of comply to that nine to five work structure, and you allow them to do that, you give them the freedom to do that, now you're managing performance. You're no longer managing people. Um, so what we have seen, then to keep in mind, is what a role, what role allows you to do from a manager standpoint is move away from granting permission and more and and kind of shift into now guiding performance so that's the difference